Some short questions. Give one word or term for each of the following descriptions. Write only the word or term next to the question numbers in the answer book. So question 1.2.1, the purposeful spreading of misleading information to advance a certain political cause or philosophy. It's giving Donald Trump. It's giving Israel. It's giving Nazi Germany. This is propaganda. And a bunch of people believe it. They become radical. Yeah. Hashtag just saying 1.2.2, a formal organization of workers that participates in collective bargaining on behalf of its members in the workplace. It's a formal organization of workers. They protect employee interests. It's trade unions. Protect employees, protect workers. If you're protecting employers, that would be uh, employer organizations. 1.2.3, a form of favoritism whereby close friends or associates are given positions of power regardless of their qualification. Close friends, that's going to be cronyism. If it's family, that would be nepotism. Think of Nepo babies like Jada and Jaden Smith. Not Jada. What's Will Smith's daughter's name? I can't remember right now, but his son I know is definitely Jaden Smith. Okay, Karate Kid. Willow, Willow, yeah, Willow. 1.3. State two possible financial challenges for an upcoming social entrepreneur. Well, just lack of funds, okay? You don't have the funds, the financing for it. And also just competition with existing businesses that have bigger budgets. That's huge because, well, money makes money. So I'm just going to write comp for competition. Competition. We oui, hablo. Hablo espanol, amigo. 1.3.2. Explain the term redress in the workplace, okay? It's not when you put on clothes, redress, or like, <laughs> that was a terrible joke. I really hope you laughed. Uh, redress, refer to the process of correcting or addressing a grievance, a wrongdoing that an employee may have experienced. So just addressing a grievance. My business studies kids are loving this one, okay? You, you guys even know the, the process to address grievances. You, you guys are over sharp. I mean, I really hope you know it. But yeah, and... It involves taking steps to rectify a situation and ensure that justice is serve, served. Yeah. So anything along those lines. Discuss the benefit of taking a gap year when deciding on a final career choice. Well, a gap year, you can just take time to navigate the real world. You can find yourself, you know, eat, pray, love kind of vibes. Self-discovery. Um, it's, it's crucial, you know, for living a meaningful life and then while eventually finding a fulfilling career. Read the source below. So personal fitness and health goals, committing to a consistent workout routine, lifestyle and nutritional plan. It will not only build your body, but it's also going to build your mind. So 1.4.1, describe one social benefit of including recreational activities in a personal lifestyle plan. Recreational activities? Well, you meet some cool peeps, some like-minded people like yourself. That is if you are cool. And you spend quality time with some friends and family. 1.4.2, explain how following a consistent exercise routine could contribute to your mental well-being. Well, it helps regulate sleep patterns. You are exerting energy, so it helps regulate your sleep. It enhances your self-esteem, body image. Maybe you look better, you feel better. So, body image... Darcy, 1.4.3. Discuss one possible advantage of following a balanced nutritional plan on a person's long-term physical health. Well, we can sustain just a, a healthy diet with all the major food groups, uh, carbs, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff. And we can follow a low GI diet. Uh, GI stands for glycemic index. We can maintain a healthier BMI. BMI is body mass index, all that good stuff. 